Hi, welcome to Auntie Nate's Crochet. Today we're gonna make a mini chair witch hat. Just a small one for my army gurumi. I'm gonna use cotton yarn and I'm gonna use a 2.5mm hook. I leave a long tail for sewing later on, but for this particular video, this is just a hat. And this is one of the video for my Halloween collection. There will be quite a few videos in my Halloween collection. Do check it out. So today's video is about this hat. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do because there will be more videos on the way. So today I'm going to use a brighter color. For tutorial sake, I'm going to use a brighter color, easy to see. But for which hat, I think it looks best in dark colors like grey or black. Okay, we're going to start by making a magic ring. Let me do that again. Let's start by making a magic ring. Okay, once you have the ring, you're going to make three single crochet inside the ring. Two, three. Okay, first stitch we're gonna do a single crochet on the okay, this is not gonna be easy because it's very tiny. One, two, three. We only have three stitches. So that's mean I'm supposed to come to here one two and then you can see here one two three and this is not it so now I need to do uh, an increase on the back loop you see here your stitch you have two loops here one in front one in the back so now I'm going to do it on the back loop. By right, the normal way, we're going to do it on both loops. But now I'm going to do it on the back loop. So, back loop, single crochet increase. So, one, two, okay, single crochet increase. So I'm going to add a marker here to remind me where I start. And then the remaining two, I'm going to do single crochet each. One, two. Okay, turn it outwards. Turn this outwards, so this will going to be the tip. So now I have four stitches all around. So now, I'm going to do single crochet followed by an increase. Okay, do single crochet. Oops, <laughs> it's kind of tiny. Okay, single crochet, add a marker. Followed by increase. One, two. Two single crochet in the same stitch. The next one, again, a single crochet. And the following one is an increase means two single crochet in one don't worry it'll get bigger and easier okay for row four here this row we're gonna get six stitches all around so now for row four we're gonna do single crochet all around oops sorry 
single crochet all around means every stitch do one single crochet Sometimes it's kind of hard to see because it stretches because it's small. Here one, okay, it should be here. Two, three, four. Because we have six single crochet all around us now, so now we're going to do single crochet each. So we're going to get six again. So this is row four. For row five, we're going to do increase twice, followed by four single crochet. So this is one increase. Let me add my marker before I do the increase. Okay, this is an increase and the next one we do increase again so that the head will bend a bit and now we do four single crochet this one you have to fold it downwards before it's easier to crochet now at least I have a little bit of space for my finger to hold it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So four single crochet. Don't worry if you do not catch this. I have my free written pattern in my blog. I will share in my description box. You can just take the link from my description box, go straight to my blog, and I'll show you. Uh, there will be a free written pattern there. Okay, now this is row five where I'll get eight stitches all around. So for row six, Row 6, I'm going to do single crochet first, just one single crochet. Followed by two increase. One increase, increase means two single crochet in the same stitch. One more increase. One, two, and now five single crochet. One, two, three. four five so you see it kind of bend a bit because of the increase at the same spot here okay now we're gonna go to row seven row seven we're gonna do single crochet in the next two single crochet and now the next one so next two so now we're going to do increase twice again in one 
two, two single crochet in the same stitch is an increase. So one increase, another increase. And after these two increase, I should do six single crochet. So here, this round, we're going to get 12 stitches all around. And the next one, we're going to do single crochet in the next three, followed by an increase. So one single crochet. Two single crochet. 3 single crochet followed by increase 2 single crochet in 1 is an increase and you're going to do this 3 times so again 1 2 3 followed by an increase Two, three, followed by an increase. Okay, then you're going to get 15 stitches in this round. And the next round, we're going to do four single crochet, followed by an increase. So one. We're going to do three sets of this, yeah? One, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. Followed by increase. One, two, three, four, followed by increase. And same thing, one more set, last set. One, two, three, four increase and this row you're gonna get 18 stitches all around so now we're gonna go to the next row we're gonna do five single crochet followed by an increase one Two, three, four, five, and do an increase. One, two, three, four. Five and increase, and the last uh, set three sets all together one, two, three, four, five. Oops, okay, and then then increase. So here, 
We're gonna have 21 stitches all around. Now, the second last row. This row we're only going to do on the back loop. Can you see these two strands here? We're only going to do on the back loop. Only on the back loop, not the whole thing. This is the normal. So now we're going to do on the back loop, the whole round. Okay. And yeah, this one, the uh, magic ring tail, we're going to hide it inside. Well, it depends if your hat, you... You're not going to attach it to your army gurumi. You're going to leave it like that where you can take it off and on. You Then you might as well hide your tail or cut it shorter. But mine, I plan to sew it onto the head or the top of my army gurumi so that it will not fall off no matter how. Okay, so now this one, only on the back loop, you're going to do Six single crochet followed by an increase. One single crochet. Add a marker. Don't forget it's just the back loop. Two. Three. Oops. Four. Six, then an increase. You're gonna do these three sets. Six followed by an increase. gonna do six again six single crochet and the last one is an increase increase means two single crochet in the same stitch yeah okay now the last row we're gonna do on the front loop just now on the back loop now we're gonna do on the front loop the one facing us is the front loop. So now we're gonna do single crochet. Just one single crochet. And the rest are half double crochet. Okay, this is where we start. Now we're gonna make 23 half double crochet. Only on the front loop. So this is 22, oops, 
And this is 23, the last one. So I plan to sew this to my amigurumi. So I'm gonna leave a long tail. So here, I'm gonna slip stitch to the next. Slip stitch to the next. And I'm gonna leave a long tail for sewing. As for the buckle, because this is black, so I use a yellow buckle and a purple lining line here. So this one, I think maybe I should use a black buckle. And just make sure where the zip curl. Here it will go up a bit. You see the way it curves, when it curves here, put the buckle here. Or up to you because depend how you're gonna sew it on your amigurumi because I'm gonna sew it this way so I want my buckle here and show that it curves so if you put your buckle here you won't be able to see it so I'm gonna put my buckle here so I'm gonna get a darker yarn so happen I have some left over that's why sometimes if you have left over yarns don't throw them away <laughs> Just put them aside, who knows one day you might need to use it. Okay, I'm gonna make one buckle. A square buckle here, somewhere here. Okay, here I'm not going to make a knot. I'm gonna tie it to the other tail later on. Just a simple buckle, a simple square will do. This is optional. If you do not want, you don't have to. But I think with a buckle, it looks more cute. Okay. Okay, hide this behind. And that's it. Just a square here. Just a square. See, I have a buckle. So here, normally what I do, I cut the yarn. You see the two tail here? I tie them up. That way, I'm pretty sure it will not come off. And I do not have to make a knot. When I start, and I do not have to hide my yarn at the end. I just hide everything here and sew it onto my amigurumi. As for the side here, I plan to use yellow. This is one of my remaining yarn, which I don't have much, just a bit. Just enough for me to make this. Okay. No picks through here. I can just start about just about anywhere. Oh, I do not want to see that brown line. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna leave a tail. Oh, this is from previous knot. Just make sure you do not see the brown part. Okay, I'm gonna lift the tail. Just go according to the stitch. Doesn't matter if it's crooked. Okay. 
It doesn't really matter if it's crooked. Well, at least if it's crooked, doesn't look like it's machine made, right? It's handmade, <laughs> technically. See? You got a line here. This is optional, up to you what color you want to use. You can use just about any color. If you have any remaining yarn, just use it. So long this line and the buckle, the color of it is outstanding. It's not the same color as your head and you're fine. Doesn't that look cute? if it's crooked just follow the line the crochet line just go one round and you won't go wrong oops here so that I can have one more stitch there it goes one more stitch right straight to the buckle there see isn't that nice and this one this brown thing, make sure you use your needle to poke it in here before you start sewing. Okay, I'm going to cut this and tie a knot inside. And I have a hat. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have a few more stuff to crochet to add into my Halloween collection so do stay tuned thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video